What the hell is Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and why do I give a shit? But before I get started, take a look at this picture. It really looks like the former Bank of England governor, Mark Carney, is giving Powell the finger. So Jackson Hole, Wyoming, every year they have a meeting of all the central banks and they give speeches. Now today we care because we're going to find out at 10 a.m. today, which is in less than an hour, what Paul Powell's, the Federal Reserve's, long-term goals are and long-term aspirations. And what they think about what's going on with the economy and what they're going to do. So the, the market's kind of waiting. They're not going to see a lot of stuff in the last day or two. You haven't seen a lot of movements because everyone's waiting for this speech. Now, for the Series 7 and the SIE exam, this is called moral suasion, where they don't actually do anything, but they say what they're going to do. They say whether they're hawkish or dovish. Whoa, what does hawkish mean? Hawkish means they're going to be very aggressive, like a hawk. Aggressive. They're going to raise rates very aggressively. Dovish means, eh, we're going to sit back, we're going to lower it down. So at 10 a.m., he's going to give his speech, and people are going to take from it what we, what he, they think he's going to do, whether he's going to be more aggressive, less aggressive, stay the same, all that stuff. And remember, they're trying to, and look, I'm not a fan of the Federal Reserve. I think having a central bank like that leads puts too much power into one place. But they are trying to walk a tightrope between do we want we want to kill this inflation, which is ridiculous, right? Even though it's down, it's still it's down from the previous month, but it's still up an incredible amount. Um, they want to know if they can lower the inflation rate by jacking up rates, the discount rate, without forcing us into a recession. And I think I just saw a thing where about seventy five percent of the economists don't think that we can. They think there's no way possible to jack the inflation down without putting us into a recession. But using the buzzword recession, I mean, the economy is either good or bad. Having it trigger into an actual buzzword recession doesn't really affect you that much. It's just, you you know personally whether you have a job or not. And as I've said a million times, just because you see the word recession pop up and they go, we're in a recession. That doesn't change from two minutes before they actually announced it. What's going on is what's going on. It's just a buzzword. And remember, pay attention at 10 a.m. today Eastern, He's going to start speaking, which is what, 7 a.m. their time? I don't know. Kind of early in the morning. But he's going to give a speech on where, where he thinks we're going, what he's going to do, and people are going to take a lot from that. You might see the market moves a lot. And by the way, I still can't stop thinking about this. Seriously, it looks like he's giving him the finger.